What is up? We're here for a chest day, baby. It's a little bit out of the order of my regular days, but I don't know. I just came in feeling like a chest day. We're rocking the new uh, the TikTok shop beaters. And I mean, I'm not going to lie, they're tight as hell. So it's kind of annoying since I'm on the bulk right now, so you can see a little bit of the belly. But uh, shit, man, it is what it is. That just shows that I'm putting on weight, putting in work. You know how it be? Anyways, uh, we just got done warming up. I just did some cable stuff, warmed up on the incline bench, and then now we're here on the Smith Machine incline. One of my favorite movements on chest day, I'm not gonna lie. One, you can go really heavy. Two, you don't need a spotter, because if you end up failing, you can just push it up with your lats or something and hook it on the lowest rung. So that's really nice. Especially for this training style where we're only going two sets, but heavy as shit, lowering the reps as well. I'm gonna decide, I'm gonna test this weight, how it feels, and then decide after that. Then we'll get that first set out of the way. At least six reps. That was good. Heavy stuff going on here. Still hit, I'd say a good amount of reps. But yeah, I really do like doing this with the new training style of going to failure in two sets because you just load up a shit ton of weight. And like I said, you don't need a spotter, so that's really nice. Yeah, okay, that's nothing to worry about. Okay, now that we got our first real pressing movement out of the way, we gotta do some sort of fly, some sort of, really let the, the muscles stretch rather than press. So what we're gonna be doing, just spread these out all the way and we're just going heavy chest flies, probably aiming for around 10 reps. I don't really know yet because I haven't done this weight before. Again, we're doing two sets of failure, so nothing new. But then we're going to another chest uh, press exercise, which is gonna be the uh, seated chest press machine, which I've actually, started to like a lot more recently. This weight gives me the perfect rep range to do like 10 solid good form reps. And then logically, I'm not just gonna quit once my form starts to break down. So then I just throw in like another five half reps just to really finish out that set. Since I haven't done this movement in a while, I'll, uh, I'll explain what I got going on with this setup. I don't know, something that I've figured out over a while of trying to use this machine is that I don't know if it's just how my wrists are placed or just the specific angle that this is at, but I get some gnarly wrist pains when I'm doing a chest press on this machine. So I figured 
instead of just not using this machine at all, I'd set these so the bars so they're all the way back, but then I just throw around a D handle on these because that'll put my wrist at a different angle. And I figured out after testing it out, it doesn't hurt my wrist at all. That eliminates the whole factor of wrist pain. Now I'm able to use the machine and it's a different type of pressing exercise than like a bench press or a dumbbell bench press. It's just coming in a different way. So it's another way to hit your chest. For most machines, there's always different ways you can set them up if you don't like it one specific way. So that's why you just gotta try out new things. Cause if I never would have done this, if I would have just quit, said, oh, my wrist hurts cause this machine, then I might not get as much gains as I would from skipping it, you know? But anyways, we're going heavy on this around 10 reps. Again, there's not really a specific set rep range, but I'm still pushing a failure, but I want the weight to be at a point where I'm not getting more than like 12 or 15. Cause at that point, then I just up the weight. So then I'm doing less reps. So close on that last rep, man. Damn. Okay, so finishing off that chest day, we had a solid six sets to failure. And honestly, I feel like that was the perfect amount, but I still do wanna get a little finisher in. So what we're gonna be doing is just one set, max out push-ups to failure. Nothing special about it, just a bunch of push-ups, and we'll be good for this chest day. I think we hit Hit it perfectly with an incline movement, incline pressing movement, a fly movement to hit it laterally, right? Or is that? Uh, I don't know. Across the chest this way to hit the fibers this way. And then we had one more regular pressing movement. So now we're just gonna finish off with a burnout set of push ups, see how many we can get after a tough chest day. Holy hell. Oh, I didn't realize how burnt out, or how quickly I would burn out. My God. Only like 25 push ups after a tough chest day. You know what? I'm not mad about it though. So, let's go check out this freaky ass pump. Okay. Now, that was a decent amount lower volume than I normally do. But the thing is, those sets are a lot more intense. I'm hitting more weight. So my muscles are gonna burn out quicker and they're gonna tear apart quicker. I don't know, just based off how it felt and how I could literally only get 25 push-ups at the end, I definitely fried the shit out of my, my pecs. I think it was a good lift in general. I definitely feel a nice pump cooking up right now. And if you guys didn't notice, these are the, the TikTok beaters. If you've seen them on your For You page, 
I forget the name. I think it starts with an E. But yeah, these are those those new TikTok beaters, and I mean, I like them. I guess uh, they're kind of just beaters. But one thing you got to look out for is they're super thick and super tight. I normally wear like a medium, maybe a large wife beater, but this is an extra large. And look at how tight it is on me. So. If you're gonna order those, you definitely need to size up quite a bit. I'd say by two sizes. And yeah, they are, they're thick. So they're kind of warm at the same time. But anyways, enough yip yapping. Time to check this baby out. Oh, this should be amusing. This is my first time wearing them. So I don't know how well they'll go on and off. <laughs> Nice. Definitely some solid work on his chest. Now we are doing vacuums with our double by lat spread and this one. Just because we need to get better at them for the cut so they'll actually look good. Yeah, one thing I'm definitely noticing is these uh, these stretch marks are for sure coming in. They're definitely a lot more noticeable these past couple of weeks, so that is really cool to see. I think this will be the last one. Actually, no. All right, now we got one more. We got the, the me favorite, my favorite one. Especially with a chest pump. It looks a lot better with a chest pump, I'm not gonna lie. Oh. Okay, that one was uh, I was a little bit out of breath with. Woof. Okay. Anyways, good chest bump. It's definitely looking pretty full as of now. I didn't hit the upper chest as heavy as I normally do, but I'm not mad about it. One thing I did really notice is that when I was doing those finisher push-ups is that I'd say the thing that gave out first was like my front delts and my shoulders. I don't know why, maybe it's because I was doing those incline Smith machines, which do hit your front delts. But yeah, that was definitely the first thing I noticed that was giving out doing those push-ups. Yeah, that was probably it. I'm gonna get some good pictures because the videos don't always come as quality for what I want in the thumbnails, you know. Plus, we got to get some pictures for the private story, Snapchat private story. Um, <laughs> anyways, I'm going to go hit some cable crunches after that, and I'll be good to go. I have about my 1,200 calories to go, but I haven't drank my protein shake yet, so that'll be a good chunk of it. Then I'll probably just graze on some, maybe like a Cliff Bar or like some Cheez-Its, some light. And then I should be at my calorie goal by then. And yeah, unless it is asked for in the future, I think, I think we're good with car talks. We don't need to do those anymore. I can just explain what I need to explain after the pump checks in the same room. Appreciate y'all so much for watching. Less than a month left on this bulk, baby. Then the cup begins. So we're gonna be pushing some heavy weight the next couple of weeks tomorrow for either back or arms one or the other it might be back i think it's going to be back eh, we'll see all right bye almost forgot to say peace out brother